Hello everyone, my name is Om Sagasal. This is Android App Development 2017. In this video, I will teach you how to use multiple threading and HTTP UL connection to read the data while you are looping. As you can see on the screen, uh, you have two buttons. One is loop and one is read data. So when you click on the loop, then you will loop some data, one, two, three, and when you click on the read data, you will read the data from the website. So the code will be a little bit more complex. Anyway, you can see the real tutorial how to use multiple thread to do two things at the same time. For example, like you loop and you read the data at the same time. Okay, let's go to Android. Okay, first assume that uh, you have a basic activity like this, so let's delete this. So we will need two buttons, okay, and this one, just like that, and then two tags. So the first one will be the looping, and we will uh, loop the data like one, two, three, and then the second one here, uh, we will read the data from the internet from a URL, you know, and then maybe just uh, call it button 1 because I don't want to waste the time on that and this one is a text, maybe tag u1 and this one is tag u2 okay, and it should be done and then, because we need uh, the internet we need to uh, add a permission in Android manifest here so use this permission, uh, internet, okay, like this, and then now you can go to Java code. So let's declare it outside, easy to use in any method. So it's gonna be button one, button two, and private uh, type view. Type U1, type U2, okay? And right here, you can use now button 1, button, find you by ID, button 1, like that. Okay, so we're gonna uh, click on the button one. We want to uh, loop the data one, two, three, four, five. So now let's call the event. So set on click listener new close space. Okay, so over here we're gonna uh, have a thread. So just call thread here. Call thread one new thread and remember the thread uh, can give you the ability to override that you can override uh, the class and you can actually write outside here or you can do it uh, here okay so it's like you override in uh, after the class so you don't have to write uh, you know like inner class or external class but um, anyway, I will use this now. Just call run. You want to override the run method here, and then you want to call slip, and then maybe it's like 100, 1000 means like one second. So, okay, and then you can loop. Okay, now just write the loop outside here. Okay, and integer i equal zero i less than one hundred maybe, and this one. So you cut the slip and pass it in the four. Okay, and then I mean that you gonna loop one two, but like you have to wait a uh, hundred millisecond, you know, and then you are gonna display the data in the text but here you have to use the handler so handler cannot uh, call inside the thread you have to declare it outside so here private handler 
so I call it handler1 here and then you need to uh, create an object here new handler okay and here the thread don't forget to call the start okay now here the handler oop and here the handler called post and then inside the post is the runnable okay and over here you want to post the data back to the UI because uh, thread cannot uh, send the data to the UI only handler can send that so now you can send I uh, into the UI now you want to send to the text one right so tag u1, set text here, and i. Okay, but now we have a problem with i, just like this. Okay, and see that when you want to use i, it has to be final, or you have to declare outside. So again, in the i, we have to declare it. Um, I think maybe over here. Fine. No, because we're gonna use it uh, in the anonymous class, so it must be outside here. Okay, should be fine now. So let's just put like this and run it and see the first result. When you click on the button one, you should see the number zero until uh, 99. Okay, let's run it. Okay, here. Uh, is something with the uh, constraint layout so go back here and you have to click on this button okay info constraint to make a proper position and let me run again I want to show you okay see that now the number is counting so we will click another button you want to show the you know the data that you read from a URL okay stop it now in the button 2, so over here, button 2, set on click listener, new, okay, here, so thread again, and um, it's gonna be thread 2 or 1, it's okay because we are in a different method, so it's okay to call 2, okay, only 1 if you want to. Now uh, it's okay if you want to write a code over here, okay. But the code here is gonna be a lot, so I want to write it outside. So another way to do that is to use the inner class. So I will call private class and my uh, thread, okay. And then you can extend uh, thread here, okay. And again, you can override the method run. Okay, so now instead of calling uh, the thread, now my thread. Okay, new my thread like this. And my thread start. Now you can uh, have a clean code over here. So in here is a code to read the data from the website. Okay, so we will use the HTTP UL connection. So just go to Google and type HTTP URL connection Android. We will see this and the first link here. So this is a very cool uh, tutorial. If you want to look into that, it's okay. But uh, I wanna, you know, make the tutorial a bit quicker. So. Uh, what you have to do is just grab the code here, so you can just copy the code here and pass it like this, okay? And now there will be some exception, just uh, surround it with try and catch, and then again here, just pass it over here, okay? And now you will have another uh, exception, so mark over this one, and then at the cache here and now you can read the string okay 
and you can create another private uh, method here so it's gonna be uh, result when you read the data okay so what it does here is that first it's gonna uh, call the URL here and make sure that you have the internet uh, permission here and then they call the HTTP URL connection to open the connection okay and after that you can read that so the data will send to the input stream but then you want to convert the input stream into the, the string okay so that's why we have to create an, another method called read stream here so the read stream here is gonna be a return type so maybe I declare the return type string here and it's gonna be a result okay and here result like this okay so now the string with string and then the data type here is input string in okay and then you return result okay and string string result like that so to read the input stream first you need to uh, input it into the buffer reader okay so buffer reader and then maybe br for buffer reader new buffer reader so inside this one is gonna be new input uh, stream reader okay and then you can uh, input the in inside here okay now you can uh, read the data from that so you can use a uh, while like this and then you want to loop over that so this is gonna be another variable string line okay so if uh, line equal be all read uh, line here so if it is not now so we're gonna uh, do like this okay and we're gonna have another exception so surround try catch like that okay but it's some messy here so uh, anyway just put the try catch I'll try like this it's better and then the exception is IO exception so E so e bring stack here now you can put the while back into the try catch now uh, there will be another close breath here okay and then resolve um, no not return resolve plus line okay so it's gonna loop uh, each word each uh, input stream and then pass it into the result now we got the result so that's all actually you can copy and paste the code uh, it's gonna be the same in, uh, in every uh, application okay i will put the link to the source code in the description if you uh, find it difficult to rewrite the code now you got the result here so you can do anything with the result and here you can use the handler again so we're gonna declare the handler outside handler 2 and then the same to handler 1 new handler okay and in here handler 2 host and then the new runnable okay then you can uh, send the result back to the, the text view okay so again the result here must be declared outside like this is much better okay right here okay okay now this is the place that you want to send the text 
So tag U2. Okay. And then resolve. Okay. So let's see. Okay. First click on this one. It's going to loop and then click on this button. See that? Now you can read the data. And you can change to any of your URL. It's fine. Okay. See that? So it's very cool, right? And as you can see, uh, when you click on that, it doesn't interfere and it's still running, you know, and it doesn't matter how long it's gonna load the data, it's okay, you know, see that. So that's it for this video, I hope you like it. This is how you do the multiple thread. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you have any question related to the thread or HTTP URL connection, you can ask me down below. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.